hello. I'm Insane Mike. Jason Bollinger. You're here at Insane's Asylum Horror Emporium. And it's time for another movie review. Let's do it. Done. Piranha, the remake. Piranha. 3D. Directed by Alexander... Uh, Alex... Aja. Uh, Aja. Uh, Aja. 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 Um, yep, not, that's not it. I'm French. Can't do it. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, we on base principle, very anti remake dudes. Yep, there are. That's why the thing isn't a remake, like I mentioned uh, like before. You said, yeah. There are a few. A few that sweep by that we consider all right. And I think this is definitely one. Yep. I mean, we can all admit that this is not any masterpiece of cinema. No, by no, any means. no. But it was one fun ride. Is it a fun ride? Abs Smurf Alooly. Chick. Done. And you know, so it lives up it lives up to its promise. You know, it, it it's not out to you know, win any Academy Awards. It was made for the sole purpose to what? It, no, it's exactly right. It's our new exploitation new film. Oh absolutely. You know, and it just revives all the great stuff of uh, exploitation film. From the 70s and 80s, uh, including boobs, gore, boobs, blood, and boobs, fish, and killer, and Christopher Lloyd. I just like Christopher Lloyd. He's great. He's awesome in this, though, actually. I Marty! That's my Christopher Lloyd impersonation. <laughs> Thank you, I've never seen that. Never? Really? Oh. That's, that's not all it is. It's just no, I, I a it. little Back to the Future no, action. But... Okay. <laughs> the only bummer part is that unfortunately both of us saw it on on DVD or downloaded. No, no, no. Um, not in 3D. But not in 3D in the theater, which is a bummer because obviously this movie is nothing meant to be any more than just a fun a fun time, and that had to have been ten Amazing times more fun in 3D. To see in 3D. Yeah. Um, synopsis quick? Oh yeah, synopsis quick, plain and simple. A uh, small little lake town that uh, survives year in, year out on spring break. Kind of sounds like a Jaws plot to me. Um, an earthquake, an earthquake? Something happens that causes the ground to split open and there's these like prehistoric piranhas that resurface and devour all the kids that have come for spring break. Um, it's all Richard Dreyfuss' fault. It's all Richard Dreyfuss' fault for dropping a can at the bottom of the lake. Okay, a little weak sauce there. But how but, great is he to, to reprise his role? Oh, I know. How awesome, right? That, you know, talk about, talk about again, another horror director films. who truly knows horror films because of being a horror fan. And he's French. That doesn't, that just sounds weird. But, um, there's just a lot of nods to, to horror fans, including the classic Jaws, where Richard Dreyfuss uh, quote unquote reprises his role from Jaws uh, in the beginning of the film. That's awesome. Best kill. What's your favorite kill in Piranha? Oh, what was it? Um, I've got mine. If you go ahead. Okay, mine is when they're trying to help all the kids. Um, I guess it's not really a favorite kill. It'd be more a favorite gore scene, gore moment. But when they're dragging the, helping the kids out of the lake, and everybody, and it's all mayhem and whatever, and there's two guys carrying this girl. One has the top half, one has the bottom half, and they're helping her and they're carrying her. And the guy carrying the the, the I think the back half or front half, I don't remember. One of the two. Uh, kind of trips a little bit and then pulls the woman in half. That was beautiful. Yeah, so. I guess my favorite. Uh, I like. I like seeing Eli Roth. Oh yeah. Get his little cameo death. Head smush. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Yeah. It would be. It would be a con for this film. Again, just. It's not a masterpiece of script. It's uh, you know. Typical, set them up, knock them down. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah, it's a gore fest. You know, it's the not. Stories. Yeah. You can almost not even really call it a horror film because there's really nothing scary about it. And 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 I normally don't nitpick at those kind of things, but the director Alexander Rudin, 
Martin, um, has set us up with some brilliant films that are really suspenseful and has some really scary moments. Like what? Um, like my favorite, High Tension. So good. Brilliant film. So good. Haven't been on the edge of my seat so much in a film in a long, long time. And then The Hills Have Eyes remake. Again, remake, but it was really good. It's one of the good ones. And that film there again, you know, had some really scary moments, but was still a, a fun, um, and some suspenseful moments, but it was still a fun, it was kind of a mix between Piranha and High Tension. You've got the suspension and the thrills and the, and the scares, along with a fun good time. Where Piranha just kind of like was just, you know, screw it, let's just have a good time. Let's not worry about having any thrills or chills or scares or whatever. Other than that, there's no, nothing really bad to say about it. It's hard to say anything negative about a film that, again, is unapologetic about what it is. How great was Jerry O'Connell? Jerry O'Connell is awesome. And I've always been a fan of Jerry O'Connell. Yeah. And to see him play such a, uh, you know, jerk in this. <laughs> and, then, and then his demise was brilliant as well. Yeah. All the parts of his demise. No spoilers. Yes. No, 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 no spoilers. And Elizabeth Shue. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, still beautiful. Still beautiful woman. And she was awesome in it. And to see her do that caliber of film, caliber of film also it was awesome. You I mean, would never expect to see somebody, an actress like that, in that kind of film. So. Tons of great cameo appearances like Eli Roth and. Christopher Lloyd, like we mentioned before, so definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. If you're squeamish, you don't like gore, you may want to skip this one. If you can uh, catch it, if you have Blu-ray 3D, definitely opt for the the 3D if you can. But you'll know why as soon as you watch it. Yes. So. But it's it's a great, fun, fun film. I can see it being played at many O parties. Oh yeah. So that's it for. That's it for this one, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay, well, cool. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next episode. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. A pocket full of bacon. Yeah.